All set 2100 metres and they leave the stalls. Miss the cut, get out okay, but not as well as Byline, who's one of the first to show Dubai Future also adopts a handy position with Mostadaf as they race through the first furlong or so. So with 200 metres under their belt, it's the green jacket of Eagles Flight who leads them past the winning line, tightly bunched with Mostadaf in second, blue with the white, and then the next two are Godolphin runners, Dubai Future on the inside of White Moonlight as they prepare to take the turn away from the stands. Byline having jumped well, settles has missed the cut, is forced wide round that first turn, right at the back with Sir Busker in a steadily run early race. On the inside race is Castle towards the back, as they're now preparing to turn and enter the back straight. And it's Eagles Flight out in the lead under Mikel Barcelona, who has the advantage by just over a length from Mostadaf on the outside of Dubai Future, racing in second and third. Missed the cut, circling the field under Rasheen Murphy. Had a pretty tough trip in the early stages, but has moved forward to sit in around about fourth or fifth place on the outside of White Moonlight, who stars wins also wide on the course is Sabuska in a tightly bunched field. Byline is towards the inside, then behind these flying visit in the orange and still towards the back is the busker on the outer as they're preparing to turn now and enter the final 800 meters in the neon turf cup out in the lead it is still eagles flight has that advantage by a length from mostadaf in second dubai future on the running rail in third Missed the cut, continues to make ground. Right round the outside in the maroon jacket, gone past White Moonlight on the inside, sitting and having to wait for Rumi's byline as the race develops. Who stars wins, flying visit, makes ground amongst runners for Ricardo Ferreira. They're on the home turn, 500 metres to travel. Every step has been led by Eagles Flight. Mostard Applehurst, first, first crack at the leader. Missed the cut, he's now under pressure and has been passed by Dubai Future as they set up at the top of the home run. And Mostard App has laid down his stall. He's quick and three legs clear from his second place to my future then missed the cut just the one pace but Mustard Ab at the 200 has burst clear and he's striding further and further away to my future in second daylight back to third with one visit running on but Mustard Ab has taken them apart for Jim Crowley and won the Neon Turf Cup by as much as seven back in second to my future racing in third was flying visit Castle made late ground running the rut. Mr. Cut had a torrid trip throughout on the outside eventually of Eagles Flight, who set up the running, but Mostadaf in a steadily run race, shot clear on the home turn and has come home and come home alone to win the Neon Turf Cup in the Shadwell Cards. He sure is. John Gostin alongside me. John, firstly, many congratulations. Mark's out of 10 for that performance. Yeah, no, he did it perfectly. He had a nice draw and Jim used it. And I, I think, you know, the track is, is quick. And I think if you're handy and you've got Mikel Barcelona in front measuring the fractions, that's where you want to be handy. And then he kicked clear well and, you know, stunningly good performance. Jim was just saying the fact you ran him in the arc is a, a big indicator as to the, to the esteem with which you hold this horse. Yeah, he's a, we obviously know the family very well. Sheikha Hissa has done wonderfully to, to, to keep these horses in training and to, to have, have her father stable. And he'd be so proud of what she's done with it. And uh, it's a family, of course, a Shadwell family, and we have a sister, and we have another brother who's a nice three-year-old. So look, he's an improving horse, so we, we're absolutely thrilled with him. Do, do you have plans in mind for him throughout the course of the season? Well, obviously, you know, if he's in great form and flies home well, uh, we came here with Mishrif and won a Saudi Cup, and then he went to Dubai, so there's no reason that he couldn't run in, in Dubai, hopefully, on the, on the big night, on Dubai World Cup night. You referred to, to winning the Saudi Cup a couple of years ago. What do you make of how racing is evolving in this part of the world? Very fast. I mean, the facilities for the horses now have dramatically improved. Uh, really, the way it's all set up for them is so much better. The horse has been put first, which is great. And uh, the crowd is grand, and they built that grandstand and the one behind me, apparently, in two months. So things are happening very fast here, yes. Mustard off as fast today. Well done. Thank you.